Hi everybody, in this class, I'm going to teach the traditional Yang style long form. I'm going to teach it step by step, of two or three moves at a time. But in this course, I'm going to go over it in a lot more details. I'm going to focus on the energy internally, structure, focus, and movement, just about everything. In Tai Chi, everything is common sense. And it's the same in everything else we do, whether it's our daily activity, other martial art, or other kind of art, even for work. And so how we use our body is all the same. It has to make sense. You know, to be strong, to throw a ball, or to carry something heavy, there is no difference uh, in Tai Chi. You have to have the right structure, right energy. Of course, they're not exactly the same, because the ultimate purpose is different. Like if you throw a ball, you're just throwing a ball, whether it's trying to throw in a basket or try to throw as far as you can. Or when you carry something heavy, you try to lift as much as you can. That's a singular purpose. But in Tai Chi, there's multiple purposes. You have to be able to uh, have the right body structure, right energy, right focus. And you have to be able to uh, attack and defend. You have to move more. So there's a lot more you have to be aware of. So that's where the differences are. So uh, many people tend to say Tai Chi is different from uh, everything else. Tai Chi is not different from everything else because when you're in strong in Tai Chi, you should be able to use it in other places. So you can say Tai Chi is the fundamental of everything you know, because we understand our structure, our body, our energy from the inside out. We work on it slowly so we know it in details so we can understand better. So there's not difference, it's just that sometimes the other art is not as rounded or is not focused as many things as in Tai Chi. So in Tai Chi we don't just push, right? We also focus on not getting off balance. If we turn left, we have to be aware of right. If we step in, we have to be ready to step back. So there are a lot more things going on. So you have to uh, be ready. There's not a singular purpose. Lesson number one, preparation posture. Stand still, relax your mind, relax your body, feel very comfortable, and feel the body should be the same throughout. You can't have one place stronger than the other, or one side more tense than the other. So make sure both sides inside and out, are balanced. First thing you do is you gotta concentrate on sinking your energy into your feet. The energy from the body sinks down into the feet and then it comes up. As it goes down, it comes up on the inside. That's what makes the body erect. You don't use physical strength. Okay, you feel the energy after it reaches the ground, it bounces back like a continuous circle. So you have to go down first, be connected, be balanced before the energy comes up. Okay, as the energy comes up, you're making your body straight, lift your crown. So from Preventing overextension, we focus on keeping our shoulders down. By dropping the shoulders, that reinforce our connection, our structure, and the whole body is evenly uh, energized throughout. The firmness, the connection should be even throughout. And then as you sink the shoulders, 
The energy goes down into the arms, into the hands, and into the fingers. Now here, feel the fingers. It should be a tingling feeling and it's getting fuller. Maintain that connection and slowly raise the arms. As you raise the arms, you keep it extended and gradually extending it a little more like the body is uh, fuller. So here the hands should be shoulder level. Open the shoulder joints, extend the arms, open the fingers, but do not make the palm too hard. But you should feel some fullness. The extension of the arm also helps you open the back. Open the back, but do not collapse the chest. Keep the chest nice and straight and open. The extension also should be uh, connected to the stance. As you extend your arms, you feel it in your body. Feel the opening and then feel it in your feet. So the whole body is connected. And then slowly turn the hands still extend it and then you start by relaxing your shoulders drop the elbow so you put a little bit of energy in the elbows to drop like you're pulling back slowly bring the hands down meanwhile keep the body straight okay so now here when the elbows are beside the body or slightly back you start to push with the hand both hands push down, but the energy should come from the shoulders, pushing into the arms, and then eventually into the palms. And as you push, keep the palms open, get both sides even, and that energy go down to the feet again, and then back up on the body. So it's a continuous circle. Meanwhile, Keep the body steady. Feel the energy. Now, slowly push down with the upper body into the legs. Push and then legs gradually bent. So feel the sink. Okay, so when the legs bent, you don't collapse the knee and let go of the energy. The leg should be like a spring. So when I push down with my upper body, there's some resistance in the spring. Okay, so let the body push down, pushing into the spring. Again, the spring always have a reverse energy. So again, as you push more into the ground, there are more energy coming back up and making the body a little stronger. Okay, so let's try that again. Starting from the shoulders here to sink, you have to keep your, your upper body straight. Okay, so to sink down, if your body is not crooked, like driving a stick into the ground, so the sinking is not as direct, not as good. So first, when you sink, you have to keep the body straight. Slowly push down into the leg. And then when you get ready to the next move, as you continue to sink, and you're gathered. So when you gather, now I can bend my body and then you, uh, a little bit. Because here I'm already sunk and I'm starting to gather and uh, getting ready for the next move. Because without a gather, the energy is not coming from the body. It doesn't matter what you do, not all the energy is coming from the body. So you must gather first before you open. So here when I sink again, sink straight down and then I'm gathered. So now the body's a little rounded, chest slightly hollow. Make sure you keep your tailbone down. Okay, so as you gather, when the tailbone goes up, you're leaning forward. But here, when you gather, the shoulder goes slightly forward, chest slightly hollow. Keep the hips, the weight of the hips into your feet. To do that, you gotta keep your tailbone down or slightly tucked. You don't tuck when you're standing.